So I'm Christy Gordon and I grew up around the Kootenays and I've always loved painting. I um, started exhibiting around the Kootenays at an early age. I was always painting people around me. A lot of my earlier works were like figurative and a little bit gestural, a little, little bit colorful. And some of this recent work has in some ways returned to that multi-figure um, sort of element of painting the people around me. So I've been working on these pieces in the show that's called Planetary um, for about three, even four years. And interestingly, the themes that I was working on in the beginning, like four years ago, they really lent themselves to like what started happening in the world. And it was kind of mystical in that way that the themes I was like exploring really sort of came to the forefront like in the last year or so with a sense of transition in the whole entire world. and. Um, the sense of struggle, but also like mutual co cooperation and all the activist movements of our time really coming up as well. I like my paintings to speak on multiple levels. So there's what the painting says on the surface, what the imagery is and, you know, the textures and things like that. But there's also kind of a dialogue happening beneath the surface, talking to the history of art um, with references, quotes from different artists, you know, po uh, quoting poses and things like that, and in that way, um, so artists like Michelangelo or Piero della Francesca were like white male artists painting for you know the church, and so I'm kind of painting myself into this exclusionary history and my friends and the people around me inserting contemporary themes and just more, uh, you know, women are often the center of interest in my work or and there's more like diversity in the crowds. And yeah, just sort of using that language of history painting in a way that uh, feels more true to me. So a lot of the time I start with like a loose sketch, just very scribbly, um, just to sort of getting an idea out. And then I basically just start in on the full size painting right away and work intuitively and just notice any like creative impulse that comes and just try it out, just like winging it. From there, there's a lot of compositional decisions to make to sort of uh, work out any like you know, any kind of tangents or just things that need to get worked out. A lot of the sketches that I do are maybe initially inspired by like a piece of art that I've seen, not all the time. Sometimes it starts with some other idea from life. Like this one, um, there's a lot of different art where like there's two mystical creatures on either side of kind of this tree of life plant sort of thing happening. So it kind of starts with an idea that's very simple. It's kind of like that. And then I see where I can take it with the, um, adding contemporary elements and making it my own concept. A lot of my paintings do have this contrast between seemingly opposing forces like death and rebirth or like lightness and spiritual darkness, kind of that sense of struggle as well as like hope and strength. Um, and in like philosophy there's the idea that these polar oppositions are actually two sides of the same thing. You can't have one without the other. So when I'm painting things like still lives, like, you know, flowers or, you know, I kind of include that element like the Dutch still lives of Vanitas where there's decaying flowers or insects or, you know, even in my paintings of um, crowds, there's often like skeletons dancing around in the background to kind of get at that cyclical nature of endings and beginnings, death and rebirth.